To what extent do you think the fact that you were maybe a little less advantaged than some of the, your friends and your peers gave you more drive I think it up? gave me more drive, yeah. But also, I really, you know what I've really realized now that I'm much older and can look back and appreciate things in a different light, is that my mom and dad actually brought us up in a way that um, just, we were hungry and never went hungry, but we were hungry, we had fire in the belly my bro brother and I, and I think it's because we just weren't given everything right away, and my parents were very strict but very loving. But the best thing my mother ever did was she sat down with me when I was about 10 or 11 and showed me a budget. And I, you know, when you're 10 years old, you don't realize every time you flick a light switch, that's money. Right. Or put petrol, you know, or, or gas in the car, or change a tire, or uh, buy a home, or paint the home. You know, you don't even think about those things, utilities. I mean, all those things, you never think about at that age. And she would just, she went through it uh, line item by line, and was item by item, and I went, oh my gosh. So she said, when we tell you kids no, it's not that we don't want to give it to you, it's we can't usually afford it. So if we say no to you, it means we probably can't afford it. What would you say were your first kind of 15 minutes of fame when you were growing up? My first 15 minutes of fame? Probably when I upset Margaret uh, Smith now Margaret Court in 1962. She was seated number one. In Wimbledon, In right? Wimbledon, first round. And uh, I'm this little spunky kid from Long Beach, California, Billie Jean Moffat, and I go out to play her and, you know what? I'd already dreamed I was gonna play her in the first round. Isn't that weird? I told yeah. my mom and dad and um, they thought, they looked at me, I, I think I dreamed about it in December. I was at the dining room table and they go, Fine. They, it, my parents aren't tennis people. They don't. They're not getting all thrashed up about yeah. who, who's who, and all that. They're going, okay, whatever. You dream. You dreamt that. I said, yeah. So when the draw came out, and I never forget at Queens Club, Jerry Williams came out and said, who do you, who do you think you drew the first round? I said, I think I drew Margaret Smith. And he goes, how did you know that? So I dreamt, dreamt about it. And so anyway, I played her, and then my brother found out first that I beat her, and he he went to tell dad that I beat her, and my dad said, no, she couldn't have beat her because she was seated number one or something. He at least knew that. And she, he said, dad, she beat her. <laughs> and the Time Magazine was calling me and all these, I didn't know what, the, I didn't understand anything. What's going on? Right. It's like, I remember sitting on the floor at, at the Westbury Hotel talking to people, and I'm like, why do they want to talk to me? I swear, I didn't connect at all. I was like, huh? I was like kind of embarrassed and, that, I think that's probably my first 15 minutes of fame. <laughs>